Hello. Hello. This is Bright Onions. This is Andrew Allen. This is Michelle Donkey. And we are here to talk about things that make us happy in times that are... Now. <laughs> yes. Times that are now. Yeah, the things that are, you know, that uh, if we're all sort of like um, trapped in our own homes, the things that are going to distract us to make mm-hmm. us feel happy and kind and sort of, uh, yeah, sort of make nice. our lives a little bit kinder and happier. Yeah. And last time it was my turn. Mm. This time it's your turn, Andrew. And what is your bright onion this time? <laughs> Do you know what? I hadn't really thought about it before we prepped this, because that's how I am. Give me gigs. Um, and Improv. Yes. And uh, <laughs> I've been aware that there are people that I've been speaking to that have been saying they've been talking and chatting with friends and families more than they were kind of ever have yeah. before. You know, there's a lot more connection going on. And mainly that's because of uh, you know, things like Zoom and Face Party. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> I, think, I, mean, I think it's called Facebook unless I've inadvertently stumbled into some sort of weird yeah, let's move on um, <laughs> but yeah all those sort of things where people are sort of I you know, chatted to somebody yesterday who said at about 8 o'clock they were exhausted because that was about the ninth party that they'd mm. been to uh, with, probably because they entered each one with a glass of whiskey um, <laughs> and, but yeah people are sort of making that real connection to sort of make, uh, effort to make time in their day to sort of catch up with people and perhaps it's because there's a uh, arguably less effort because they don't have to leave the house or they can't leave the house yeah, and get yeah. on a bus and put on nice stuff they don't even have to wear any trousers um, but you, you genuinely have to check um, we are covered in every way here it's fine um, but yeah this whole they're, connect, they're connecting with people um, and I think people are really looking out for one another yeah. um, and really sort of checking in and it's just quite nice to be able to do that with various sort of apps and whatever mm. uh, and it extends even more than that I've been really enjoying uh, stuff like um, you know the news quiz on yeah. Radio 4 or Mash Report or the Colbert um, show in mm. America where it's all been done from their homes and yeah. sort of minimum of sort of uh, tech. tech and stuff mm. and minimum of makeup um, mm. I'm not even doing that. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) We're not getting any closer. Do you know what? I genuinely find that, bizarrely, a little bit moving. This whole sort of thing of getting together. Yeah. Yeah. But, actually, one of my uh, favourite things of all of that um, is, um, I think the hashtag is hashtag... Um, lockdown lip sync, uh, yes. uh, which uh, Rachel Paris and uh, Marcus Brugstock, um and I don't think they intended it to be. I think it was just a silly sort of thing, but spiraled. And what they're doing is they're sort of like quite reasonably high production values of <laughs> smoke and mirrors and, and, yeah, yeah. and wigs and stuff, yeah. and they are challenging each other to do uh, a lip sync um, of, you know, George Michael um, or whatever. Yeah, and yeah, And it's yeah. just been a glorious thing to watch from both their Twitter feeds. Yeah, they're, like, taking it in turns and yeah. challenging each other. And each time you think it can't possibly get any... Or they've, they've done it now. They've, 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 they've plateaued. Mm. Um, but, you know, I, mean, I was waiting quite early for a Kate Bush. That happened. That's, yeah, they've been done. They've done that one. Yeah, what else? Yeah. Um, what would yours be? If you had to do a lip sync. If I had to do a lip sync, oh. Mm. Um, would, it be, would it be Wuthering Heights? It probably would be Wuthering Heights because yeah. I don't think I'm quite cool enough to do a Bowie or anything. Oh, that'd um, be awesome. Uh, cool enough. I haven't got the makeup. Um, uh, yes. Uh, or the um, catsuit. Have you not? What, what, would, what would be your... Uh, I think Wuthering Heights. Yeah. yeah, I think they've done it. I think, yeah. Yeah. I was kind of waiting for them to do Turn Back Time from Cher. That would be viciously that appropriate would be, in these... Yeah. If I could turn, but I'm not even No, doing it. don't, because you don't need to, because it's a lip sync. Ha, that's why you shouldn't. I just shouldn't. Okay. <laughs> you should. You've got a lovely voice. <laughs> <laughs> when it stops. Um. Uh, so, <laughs> so, that is your bright onion today, the the togetherness of just, people and I was tech. just reminded of an acting <laughs> class I did, which was, uh, I'm a big fan of the action of pauses, and I said... Sort of, looked at camera and whatever and then spoke and they uh, orated and the teacher said Andrew that was that was wonderful that was um that was beautiful in fact that was in fact I would go so far to say one of the best deliveries of that speech I've ever seen in my career right up to the moment where you opened your mouth oh. <laughs> <You're being> sincere. <laughs> 20 years ago never forgotten oh I'm very successful nowadays good acting face
apparently. All the face, the yeah. build-up. <laughs> yeah. None of the delivery. Yeah. Okay. P- pal- well, on that... Pal- <laughs> pal- pal- vers- uh, <laughs> Pierce Brosnan, circa 1992. Aww. Um, so, on that note, that was your Bright Onion, and we hope that you have a fabulous day. We will be back soon, and talking about whatever my Bright Onion is next yeah. time, who knows? Take care, have a lovely time. Bye-bye. Yeah.